And my name is Brad Up. I grew up about a mile that way. I read about this camp in 1979 in the, uh, the Mainline Times. And it had the camp all the way over near Riverbend. And as, as was just mentioned, this, there was no real understanding of what this place was, where it was. Some people thought it was a Confederate uh, prison and they built these stone walls. All of that is not true. But I can't be more thrilled to have everybody here today. And I really want to thank the Philadelphia Country Club who not only allowed me, as I'm not a member, to excavate the lower third of this property for several years. They were kind enough to pay for these markers. There's one right here, and there's one down near the old barn. Anybody feeling brave enough to go down the trail can see it today. There's a picture of it back there in, in, in those chairs. Um, so there's a lot of people to help that help make this happen. My co-author, um, again, Ted Barry was instrumental. Uh, Colonel Ken Breyer retired, helped to create, he was the liaison that had us sitting in the bistro room, having a discussion about allowing me to prowl around in, here, in overalls. Like, does that guy work here? Uh, <laughs> And it's uh, and Mike McNulty and Dan Beal, were, were, from the beginning, were very encouraging and showed me different things. Um, and I want to also uh, mention George Lonsdorf designed this marker, and he designed the marker down at the bottom of the trail. We did this was put together in Jim's dining room. Um, so again. It's been quite a lengthy journey here, and Jim's going to talk to you a little bit about this place. Then Captain Bridget Wilby, who's back from battle, will have some closing remarks. And then we will turn it over to the military part of this program, as was mentioned by Jay. Again, I want to, and Vex, Philadelphia Brigade Band, who I envision being here from the beginning. They're here, and they're wonderful. Established, established in 1830, and they're still playing to this day. They're fabulous. 